Hi guys, so just going back over a uh, same rush webinar that I've done um, lately and it was on a tool called the on-page SEO checker. Um, I've done this webinar with Andy Crestedina and I, you will be able to see the full webinar at the bottom of this page but this particular video is just a brief overview of how the tool works and where you find it and stuff like that. So when you log into SEMrush you'll be given a main menu down the left hand side and then if you click on projects it will take you to this nice big dashboard here um, that you will allow you to set up a site audit, position tracking, on-page SEO checker, social media and various other things here that are all fairly useful and um, depending on what you're doing. So it's this one third along on uh, from the left hand side up the top on-page SEO checker is going to be the tool we're talking about today. So if you just click on that um, and you allow SEMrush to crawl your website, it will give you a nice overview um, that looks exactly like this. So you'll be able to see, I've done this on Thursday, March the 7th, which was the day that I've done the webinar. And uh, there, so this is the, the dashboard, very simple and easy to use. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is see if you have any feedback on any SEMrush tool. Up the top here, you can send feedback if you want to request that SEMrush allow you to, eh, if you want to request that SEMrush add any kind of features you think will be helpful. They're fairly good at listening to requests from people if they're sensible. Um, but we're going to look at what's new in the on-page SEO checker. So it's got a nice user-friendly interface. You can integrate the tool with Google Search Console, which will give you a lot more data. It gives you benchmarking against your top 10 rivals. The top 10 rivals being the people that are in the top 10 positions in Google for your search terms. Task prioritization. So you can see on the left-hand side, which we'll look at in a moment, um, which looks like that. Um, so things will have three kind of gold or yellow marks. That is high priority. And then it goes down to two and one for things that they may see as less um, important. It also does have SERP feature ideas. So feature snippets and reviews and various other bits and bobs. So it's a great tool. Doesn't do anything you know spectacular or anything here at all, but it's very simple and easy to use. And if you're doing client work, um, why not stick your tool through here and see what the suggestions are um, and then start to implement them. So you'll be able to see here, um, I've got seven strategy ideas, 35 backlink ideas, 33 technical ideas, no user experience, five SERP feature ideas, 35 semantic ideas, and 104 content ideas. So no matter who you are, there's always going to be new ideas and suggestions, more content, whatever it's going to be, um, more links or whatever. So there's always going to be something useful comes from the back of this tool. So optimization ideas, we can look at any of the pages on the website. So it gives you priority three, two, and then if you scroll down, it'll go to one. Um, and it gives you different ideas for different pages. Um, and it gives you the kind of total search volume for those pages as well. And you can see, you know, what you want to implement here. So, you know, the further down the list you go, the less search volume there is. So you might not want to push ahead with some of those ideas, but, you know, certainly work from the top and work your way down. So <coughs> you can also use the filters here. So it gives you the priority, the page. So that's the URL of your website, the keywords, the search volume. And you can also use this little filter here if you just look for, if you're only wanting SERP feature ideas, um, then you can, you know, just find out um, about those. Or if it's backlinks ideas, then I'm sure most of your pages can do with backlinks, technical issues, and so on. So you can filter this down or you can keep it as all ideas. It gives you the last update and any actions. So you can delete the page, edit keywords, do whatever you want. Um, you can also import keywords and pages either manually using Search Console, CSV file or whatever you may want to do. Um, so we can click on say um, the truth about click fraud and stuff like that. So if you click on the URL 
on the top right hand side you can send any of this information to Trello it's quite important and um, if you're using staff to to do that but you can see here there's no keyword cannibalization SEO strategy needs no improvements if there was an issue or if you had another page in your website that's targeting the same kind of keywords then it would tell you that there's potential issues there SERP features um, there's nothing really to do here then you've got content so it's telling me to use header one tags it's making my content more readable and um, provide a more relevant meta description um, and everything else looks to be fine there page contents long enough and stuff like that as well um, semantic ideas so enrich your page content um, <coughs> so there certainly is room for improvement on that as always there's going to be room for improvement on link getting backlinks and stuff like that we can also look at any kind of technical issues there's nothing on there at all but there could be things like um, dodgy title tags duplicate content whatever it may be and there's also user experience page loads quickly enough time and time on site is high enough and page has a low bounce rate so they're all good and obviously that data pulls from um the search console so if you have something here that's flagging up and um, for example semantic um you can click on see detailed analysis and it gives you a whole bunch of information here um adwords campaign i'm using it rivals are using uh this word and um, these amount of times this is my website and the percentages of the word or phrase usage against my rivals um, and then you've obviously got tf idf here as well and these are all things that you can look at against your rivals and tweak it accordingly um, as you see fit you can also look at keyword usage backlinks content length um, video usage no one's really using videos on the particular search terms and readability um so i've got 64 um it's based out of zero to 100 zero being hard 100 being easy so mine's is up there fairly high compared to some of the others i think there's only these guys unbounce and a couple of other guys that have got a higher score there's other people there that um, readability is not so high so you can look at these kind of things and go into more detail um, on your optimization ideas for anything whatever it is going to be benchmarking so um, benchmarking um, you can you can obviously use a typing filter here um, and you can also show keywords that trigger the feature snippets first um, and you can view the full analysis here um, and it will give you the kind of my pages only get 359 words the top 10 average is 1500 so that's something I potentially have to look at um, for that particular search term referring domain names my page is zero the top 10 average of 35 top 10 also use videos I don't have a video on that page um, so there's a massive amount of improvement I could do on that particular um, blog post that I've got on my website and you can see all the guys um, you know I'm a way down there I, I haven't put anywhere near as much time or effort into that particular blog post that I've got um, on there so a massive amount of room for improvement there compared to some of the guys that are ranking really well idea tasks so keywords it will tell me that I've got stuff to do um, and people will often ask how do you then mark this as done when you when Sarah uh, SEMrush crawl your website and see that I have implemented say some header one tags using tagged keywords the next time it crawls it it will, it will eliminate that from the to-do list um, it will mark it as done so you've got a filter here where it gives you all the kind of task ideas then you've got 219 to do and then you've got 95 that are done um, so there's a lot of work for anyone to be doing in their website you know no one has a perfect website so the on-page SEO checker 
is really simple and easy to use. It is also really good that you can pull this data onto a PDF and show it to clients. So if you're doing client work, you can obviously pull this stuff off and obviously show them that you're working on specific ideas or you've got some benchmarking stuff that you think you know you're, you're weak on and we need to work on this because some people you know allow the client to do the content part so you can certainly pull this information send it to the client and say we're going to have to up the content because we've only got 300 words against um everyone else who's got an average of 50 1500 keywords or whatever eh. 1500 words sorry and that is something that you would want to look at so that is um, in a nutshell how the on-page SEO checker works on SEMrush quite a cool tidy simple and easy to use um, tool on there and I'm sure with anything it will always look to improve and, and add little functions and features so um, any questions do get in touch with SEMrush they're always open to helping and hopefully you enjoyed the video Thank you.